Hello and welcome to another video brought to you by the good people at FM Wonder Kids. Today we're going to be looking at tactic creation in Football Manager 2018. How to create a tactic and how to get the best out of your team. So I'll jump right in and I'll start explaining how I would go about creating a tactic in a brand new team. So we're going to start off with Arsenal here. We're going to go on the squad screen. I'm going to select reports this then gives me my assistant managers reports on what the current and potential ability of my players are the reason i've done this is because it is absolutely key that you, when you're building a tactic you start with your strongest players and get in your strongest players into their preferred positions now just a little side note for this to all to work you need to be confident in your assistant managers ability so what I mean by that, if I go down to the staff tab here and I select my assistant manager there, I want to be confident that my assistant manager has got the skills to judge players' ability and to judge players' potential. So normally I'd be looking for around a 16 here. A 16 is a good attribute to have for judging ability and potential. Um, 15 and 14 is okay, I can deal with that, but ideally before I started creating my tactic I would see if I could find an assistant manager who was better at these two attributes just so I could get as you can see a more accurate reading of my squad's ability and potential. So what I would do the first thing I would do is go through all my best players so you can see Sanchez, Ozil, Koscielny, Peter Cech are my best four and then we go down to Lacazette, Olivier Giroud, Aaron Ramsey and Santi Cozzola you can obviously arrange that by clicking the tabs there, arrange that in any order you like. So at first I'll click on Sanchez and I'll find out his best position by clicking on the position tab here. So he's obviously an attacking midfielder or a striker. If we click on both, we can see that he's most natural at being an inside forward on the left wing, whereas the striking, he's uh, a little less comfortable in that situation. So. The first thing we would do is put Alexis Sanchez in the attacking midfield left position. Ozil, or Ozil, you can see he's most natural at centre mid, attacking centre mid, at being an advanced playmaker. So, yep, that's an easy easy fit. Koscielny is obviously going to be a centre back, and Peter Cech is obviously going to be a goalkeeper. So, if I go into my tactics screen here next, I can then position my players into where I want them. So, I know I want. Sanchez there, and I know I want Ozil there. If I click on this section then, I should be able to, if I click Ability there, yeah, that should pull up Alexis Sanchez, and I can pop him into my attacking midfield left position. Make sure he's got his preferred role of the inside forward. And we're good to go. Next, I do Ozil, or Ozil then as well. Make sure he's in the attacking midfield centre position make sure he's an advanced playmaker great so then i got to go to my next ones so obviously we've got Koscielny here centre back um, I always like to check what their preferred foot is so his preferred foot is right so I'll put him on the right side of the centre back partnership Peter Cech obviously goes in goal Lacazette then I'm guessing he was a centre forward yep Complete centre forward is his preferred role. I'd put him then into the striking position. I'd maybe move him over centrally. If that's possible. Yep. And then Giroud. Now Giroud is also a centre forward. So here I would consider maybe having two centre forwards. So I'll consider that to start with. It's probably not going to be my finishing formation because it, it may unbalance the team slightly, but I'll put him in for now and we can work around it. So, where's that there? Is that the one? No, so I wonder if I can just do that. Yeah, so that works. So I've got Giroud there as well now. Aaron Ramsey, he's going to be a centre midfielder, I would have thought. Yep, central midfield is his preferred role advanced playmaker 
So Aaron Ramsey, I know that he's right-footed. I'll stick him on the right side there. You may want to switch them up if he's right-footed, put him on the left. It gives him more of an opportunity to kind of um, get shots off. Kind of cutting inside a little bit and getting shots off. Whereas if he's playing on the right and he's right-footed, it's a little bit more awkward for him to get shots off. But it's more natural for him in other areas of the game. Santi Cazola. He is actually centr central midfield, more natural. The early parts of his career where he was uh, a right winger. But now he's more natural in that position. So I would put him there next to Aaron Ramsey. He's actually currently injured at the moment. I think that's what, that's what that sign is there. Make sure he's green. So he's on the correct roll. Make sure Giroud is happy with his role as well. Make sure he is happy with his role. Now, as you can see, it's kind it's got my formation very unbalanced, but that's something we can work around once we're happy that we've got all our best players in their best positions, which which we have at the moment. So I'll expand that, and I'll have a little look here at the formation. Yeah, obviously that's slightly unbalanced. So what I would look at doing is maybe pulling Giroud out to the wing here. Putting Lacazette more central. And that's more of a balanced shape. Obviously Giroud's wildly out of position. So I would maybe think about taking Giroud off. Taking Giroud off my starting lineup. And or maybe swapping Cazola to the right. I could swap Cazola to the right wing, but then that then also brings Giroud into centre midfield. So what we'll do, we'll we'll take Giroud out of the picture because it has unbalanced, like I say, our formation. So that's more of a tidy formation. Not a lot of defensiveness in the centre midfield, but hey, that's Arsenal. That has always been a trouble for Arsenal. That defensive, that defensive position in the midfield. That's a that's a personnel issue. Maybe I'd look at maybe getting rid of Cazola and getting a more defensive centre midfielder just so we got that balance. We got Ramsey attacking, more of a defensive player there. Ozil Ozil supporting, Sanchez supporting too. I'd like a strength in this position. Lacazette he can play on the wing as well. Just thought yeah, could get Lacazette on the wing, which is an opportunity maybe to get Giroud up front but it's kind of weakening Lacazette, which I don't want to do because that's his best position. He's one of our best players. So I'd look at strengthening this position personnel-wise, maybe getting someone in to fulfill that role. Okay, then next I'd I'd fill in the rest of my team. So Giroud, it's unfortunately going to have to be backup. Xhaka, central midfield or defensive midfield. That might work better if I put Xhaka in for Cazola. Gives me that balance in the center of the park. A bit more of a defensive stability. Again, not a lot. You can see his marking and his tackling isn't the best, but he's got the strength. And he's got some of the teamwork and stuff. So we don't want to be lightweight. We don't want to be caught short in the middle there. So that kind of gives me my formation, which, which I would go for with Arsenal. A kind of 4-2-3-1 formation again it's just judging off the, off the players which I've got to hand so what I'll do I'll go ahead like I said and fill in fill in the rest of the blanks so I'll get my defensive positions done so Mustafi here I think he's left footed double check no he's right footed but I think he's competent with his left yeah he's reasonable with his left foot so I'll put him on the on the left side of the centre back partnership just on the left, because Shelney there. And now I'm looking for is my fullbacks and a right winger. So Hector Bellerin. I know he's a right back. Great little player. Great potential as well. And then I'm looking down for my left back, Nacho Monreal. So it's kind of a balance, really. You want to get, to start with, you want to get your best players into their best positions. And then once you've done that, you want to get your balance right.
make sure you've got the right players in the right positions then. So I'd maybe look at putting Theo Walcott then on the right wing because I know he's strong there. It's obviously his best position. Right winger. He's very fast. That gives a great balance to the squad. Danny Welbeck as well. Is he right wing? Left wing. Left wing and centre forward. Love Danny Welbeck. He's a genius. So that fills my team. That fills my formation. So that is kind of dictated that I have a 4 2 3 1 because of Sanchez, Lacazette, Ozil. They're all in their best positions. I got Walcott there on the wing. A bit of pace. Ramsey and Xhaka in the centre. A bit of solidity there from Xhaka and some attacking flair there from Ramsey. I've got Monreal as a wing back. That's interesting. He's not actually natural. His natural inclination is a defensive fullback. But for tactical purposes, I like to keep him automatic. The automatic will change their mentality when you change the team's mentality. So at the moment, the team's mentality is here, standard. And then during the game, you can change that depending on how your performance is for the team. And as you change that, that will also change any players you've got on automatic. That will change them to the same as well. Mustafi here. He's a ball-playing defender. So I'll get him being a ball-playing defender. And Koscielny, the centre-back defence. Again, it is important. Balance is important. You don't want to just get all your players onto the best roles because the balance of your team will be totally out. Like we had Giroud, for example, here in the right wing. We have to change that for, for balance purposes. So Bellerin, I'll just make sure he's green as well, if possible, if it balances. Yeah, that's, I'm happy with that. Attack there, get Bellerin attacking. So that's quite a balanced team. So I've got, so I'm just going to check my mentalities now before I start. So I've got two attacking there in the, in the top of the pitch, two supporting. That's a great balance. Ozil, they're supporting. That'll make sure he's kind of always free to receive the ball and play in his advanced playmaker role. If he was too attacking, maybe it'd be he wouldn't be in as much space all the time. Sanchez, as a support there, makes sure he works hard to cover Monreal on the wing. That's important because of this huge space we've got here between our fullbacks and our wingers. This side is very attacking, so I'd maybe consider changing one of their mentalities um, based on our performances and based on how much we're conceding down the right wing. Uh, new to Football Manager in 2018 are these red dots here. So if you can see the red square, if I hover over that, it'll give me the minor issues with my formation so far. So it says here, the decision to operate without anyone in the defensive midfield position was in less direct cover for the defence than using a player in the same role in a more advanced position. And again, that's Arsenal through and through. So we could maybe try and maybe try and um combat that issue by getting Xhaka in more of a deep role. Deep line defence. Deep line playmaker defence. It hasn't quite got rid of our red. But it will definitely combat that issue there. So we've got a defender there and we've got a supporter there. There's a good bit of balance. Obviously we've got our two defenders there on defensive mentalities and then we got our wing backs attacking and also automatic. So that's it for Arsenal. That's exactly what I would do, my setup. Obviously you would judge that then on performances, maybe tinker it a little bit. I would usually keep my mentality on standard very important. Usually keep my mentality on standard and then change it throughout the game depending on how the standard is going. So you could choose to control, choose to go attacking or choose to go overload. Obviously overload will um, leave you open to the counter attack and attacking will leave extra space for the counter attack as well If or if the opportunity or if the opposition are a good team and they're attacking as well it'll just be a, a very free free flowing game with a lot of space. Control is a bit more kind of Barcelona style. You're controlling the ball, a bit slower tempo. Standard then is is just a step back from that. It's just kind of like, let's see how the game goes. Let's start in a kind of normal manner and, and we'll take it from there. I find it usually works really well. 
So that's it for this video today. Creating a tactic. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm really happy to answer any questions that you do have. Um, if you like this video, please click like, like and subscribe for more great content coming soon.